Daniel Pomerlano, and David Shea Velovic for their outstanding expository article, The Four Vertex Theorem and Its Converse, which appeared in the Notices of the American Mathematical Society in 2007. This clever article thoughtfully proves the Four Vertex Theorem and its converse in several variations through the use of clear prose and abundant illustrations. It artfully weaves in the history of the development of these proofs and expounds on extensions and generalizations of the four vertex theorem. On a separate note, it seems that Shea and Daniel are the first mathematicians to receive this prize for work done while they were students. Shea, a graduate student, and Daniel, an undergraduate. Please welcome Herman, Daniel, and Shea to the podium to accept their award. Unfortunately, Dennis could not be with us today. So the award of the Chauvinet Prize, for which we're deeply honored, has filled us all with great pleasure. When we learned about this, Dennis Turk, who's at home now recovering from surgery, and I couldn't resist checking over the list of past winners, which, um, as Paul said, it led us to the belief that our two younger co-authors, Shay and Daniel Parmelano, are the first to be awarded the prize for work done as students. Daniel, as undergraduate, Shay is a graduate student. This made us smile even more, especially with the state of the job market today. Uh, our paper traces the 100-year history of the Four Vertex Theorem and its converse, which was brought to a stunning conclusion by the work of the Swedish mathematician Bjorn Dahlberg, who tragically died from cerebral meningitis at the age of 48, with the almost finished manuscript still on his desk. His colleagues at Göteborg University, Wilhelm Adolfsson and Peter Kumlin, found the manuscript, worked it over in great detail, and shepherded it through to publication. We are enormously indebted to them and our deepest thanks to Monroe Tenor, the very talented artist responsible for the striking full-color, full-page glossy picture of eight snakes chasing their tails, which illustrated one of the core arguments in proving the converse of the four-vertex theorem. Thank you all very much.